Okay, so the fundamental frequency of the C string was equal to 262 hertz. And the fundamental frequency of the straight A string is equal to 440 hertz. So part A asks us to calculate the second and third harmonic frequency on the C string. So this is F2C, which is just two times the fundamental frequency, which gives us 524 hertz. And the frequency of the third harmonic is just three times the fundamental frequency, which gives us 786 Okay, now part B said we have two piano strings with the same length, the same mass per unit length. So for the fundamental frequencies, lambda is equal to L over 2. And we need to work out how the tensions are related. Okay, so we have the equation V is equal to F lambda. And we also know that the velocity is equal to the tension over the mass per unit length. So what we can do now is substitute in the length of the string here for lambda. So this is FL on 2. Now what we can do is we can rearrange this so that things that are kept constant are on one side and our variables, the things we can change, are on the other side. So we can write the tension, which we're changing over the frequency, is equal to the length of, of the string on 2 times the, mass, the square root of the mass per unit length. Now this is constant. This is varying. So we've got root of the tension for the A string over the frequency of the A string is the same as the root of the tension for the C string over the frequency for the C string. So TA over TC is equal to FA over FC. And so just squaring this, we've got FA squared over FC squared. Now FA is the 440 squared over the C squared, which is the 262 squared. Solving that on the calculator, we end up with 2.82 is the ratio of the tensions. So these tensions are very different. It would be quite hard to get a very different frequency by just adjusting the tension. So in most stringed instruments, they don't actually just adjust the tension, they'll also change the mass per unit length. So for example, on a violin, the different strings have different widths, and they will also change the length of the st strings in some instruments like pianos and harps and things.